Right here we have this label maker printer. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you everything it comes with. So this is everything that came inside the box besides the user manual. We have the charge cable right here. This is just a USB to type C charge cable. And then the actual label maker printer itself right here. I absolutely love how easy this is to use. The user manual has some nice pictures on it, so it makes the instructions really easy to follow. If you push down this little lever on the side, it opens up this panel where you can insert your paper, just depending on what you're trying to make here. Right here, it actually already comes with some labels. So in order to set this up, I'm actually going to let the app prompt me. I already downloaded the app, so I'm already ready to go. So I'm gonna start by taking this little piece of tape off right here and pulling the label out just enough to be able to stick out of the printer. Then I'll just click this back down into place and push the power button. With this app, you can actually use speech recognition to create your labels. This also has QR code recognition and image to text features. So that means you honestly could print anything from SKUs for purchasing items to little thank you stickers and anything in between, even things like labels for your kitchen. This label maker printer actually supports printing 0.78 inch labels all the way up to 3.14 inch wide labels. Another benefit of this ink is that it is both water and oil proof, as well as scratch resistant. It's also tear resistant, and these stickers have a really nice strong adhesive. The fact that you can edit all of your labels on the app, and this is such a small lightweight device, and you can use the Bluetooth connection and use this as a portable label maker, that's gonna be just so convenient. So this already shows that I am actually connected to the printer, and you can see on this main screen here, you can actually go right here and click new label, but you can also have your different print histories, your different templates, and things like that. I'm gonna click on new label, and you can select all of your specific sizing, your orientation here, as well as several other options. And it does show a little picture of what your item is going to look like when it's done. So now that I have my settings in here, I'm going to click confirm, and now I can actually edit what the label itself is going to look like. I love that you can get as fancy as you'd like here. We have these different frames that you can use. We already have some spots where you can just enter your own information on the pre-selected templates, or just have a plain option as well. We do have some specific categories, like this category is called thank you, so you can select one that's going to work best for you. Let me put together one that I'm going to use. Okay, perfect, you can see my little label here just says organic lemon, and then the date that it was put in the jar. Let me go ahead and put it on the jar so you can see what that looks like. So you can see what this label looks like on this jar of dried lemons. I think that looks so nice, and the process was so nice and easy. I can't wait to get all of my jars uniform with all of these labels. And honestly, I can just save all my settings and it'll make the process so much easier all the next times that I do this.